Hello everyone. Today we're doing something a little different. We have a unboxing to do here. Don't worry, this isn't going to be the focus of this channel. It's just this is sort of a interesting unboxing uh, because it is a box of crap from Woot. Uh, if you don't know, Woot is a deal site where it originally started out with one deal one day. Um, eventually it was purchased by Amazon and now they have all kinds of stuff. It's sort of a clearinghouse for overstocks and you know low volumes of stuff and open boxes and refurbs and whatever. But uh, every once in a while they will hold what they call a woot off and that's just a stream of deals that last no more than 30 minutes. Um, generally speaking the items sell out before then and within a minute or so they're replaced with another deal and it just keeps on going like that uh, all day or however long they're going to hold the wood off. After oh, interspersed in with that stream of deals are these bags of crap and they could be anything literally. You pay 10 bucks and you get what you get. There's no description, um, no idea what you're going to get. Um, you know, as they say, you could get anything from a, a laptop to a, a bunch of, you know, iPhone cases or whatever. You know, it could be anything at all. So you're just sort of taking a bet that you get something worth at least ten dollars. Um, this box was purchased on their 17th birthday, so maybe it'll be special. Maybe it'll be just more junk. Um, they do have commandments about you know, you, how you shouldn't expect more than three items and, you know, don't be sorry when you're disappointed with all of them. Um, they have humor running through the site in general. Uh, you know, their mascots are two monkeys <laughs> and uh, um, all their, a lot of the descriptions are rather humorous too. So um, anyway, shortly after buying this, I received an email uh, from them, congratulations you know, with the uh, Congratulations on my purchase, uh, which quickly turned to uh, chastising me for wasting my money. <laughs> so, um, anyway, that's a little bit about Woot. Let's get into this and uh, see if I got anything worthwhile. So, there you go. So, right off the bat, there is the bag or bag of crap. Just typical reusable shopping bag kind of deal. Uh, the first item is a purple toiletry bag. Uh, actually, this is the kind of serendipity of doing this. We're going to be doing some traveling in the not so distant future, so this might actually be something that we'll use as a family. Um, you know, right there. That's pretty nice. I'd say that's worth 10 bucks right there. Um, and I, it's not something I was looking for, but hey, I'm happy with it. Um, what's next? Oh. We've got a boot sticker. All right, now here we are on the crap side of thing. It is a 14 inch uh, tie, <laughs> a, a zipper tie uh, for boys. Uh, this will be promptly donated. We <laughs> uh, have a two pack of touch lights. Uh, need two AAA batteries. All right, could probably find a use for these. A notebook, which my people in my family will definitely use. Nice looking. Um, so, pretty cool. Mm. Magic the Gathering, 
guild set. I have not played Magic in a long time, but this looks pretty nice. I know people who do play Magic. I'll probably get this to them. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. I had gotten that a couple years ago. It would have been really good. <laughs> um, a Mirror Magic Cube. Interesting looking. Um, I was going to say it looks like a Rubik's Cube, but I think it's skill level. Obviously, the way that looks like it moves, it looks like it's different than a Rubik's Cube. More, it is a puzzle cube that I will definitely play with. So that's pretty neat. A couple things. Uh, drink, drink cozy. Um, <laughs> here's the random crap again. This is, I can't tell what this is. Looks like some kind of rubber knobs. Um, these may be some kind of earbuds. They're threaded here, but it's really soft silicone. Um, I feel like they're earbuds, but they're weird. I don't know what they would be. Uh, you know, here you go. The, the crap of the bag of crap. Um, cat socks, I believe. Yes, two pairs of rather hefty cat socks. Interesting. So, <laughs> I think those will get some use just for fun. And the last item. WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Uh, it is a video game controller. It's one of these newer retro video game controllers um, that just hooks up to your TV. And it sounds a little rattly, but uh, <laughs> um, there you go. Let's just go ahead and pull it out. Oh, there you go. So you can see it's just a joystick, two buttons. Um, Never big into the wrestling games, but uh, again, I know people who uh, will probably get some amusement out of this. Uh, I will maybe be gifting this to them, but uh, yeah, Bed Bath, I don't know how this came up in a whoop box, but Bed Bath and Beyond, 20 bucks. So anyway. Um, Interesting to say the least. So, all said and done, uh, I think a worthwhile collection of items. Uh, I don't think that, uh, I don't know if this is special, especially good because it was their birthday or whether this is a normal one. This is the first time I've actually won a box of, or a bag of crap. Um, but it is interesting, and I'll probably try for another one in the future. Um, so, anyway, um, I think that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, you know, if you're going to go on route and try and get one of these, uh, good luck. They're hard to get. Uh, normally, uh, they sell out almost instantly, uh, and even if you're close... You know, you see it right away, and you try and buy one, you'll often end up in a vestibule of patience, which, in theory, might mean you could still get one if somebody fails to purchase the, uh, their order in time. But more often than not, as the text says, you're just stuck there, and you might as well give up. So, um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day.